How many of you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Many people have serious issues, personality issues, because of this same spirit. And they think it's not no big deal. It's not coming through anything they're watching. It's not coming through anything that they believe. It's not coming through false doctrine that they've heard maybe somewhere. No, it's not that. It's just it happened, I just happen to be this way, and I need to take medicine for it. I've got three personalities or four personalities that call me bipolar, bipolar, bipolar. There's all kind of polars going on these days. Y'all notice that? Man, I'm telling you, when I was young, I never heard of no polar. And now they don't make a bipolar, tripolar, got quadpolar, people got all kind of personalities. This is not normal, folks. This is the same thing that was in this girl right here. Literally. Now, they say, oh, but there's, there's such a thing as psychotic behavior. People get, well, yeah, the enemy troubles the mind. The enemy troubles the mind to give us a type of double personality. We shouldn't be that unstable. Now, I know we got hormones, and sometimes the hormones get to fluctuate, and then we get hot flashes, and we get a little temperamental sometimes. I ain't talking about that. Because, I mean, I got to set that clear because people start looking at you like, oh, man. But I'm talking about literally, have you ever met somebody that'll talk to you one way one minute, and the next minute they're completely somebody different? It'll blow your ever-loving mind. You're like, well, I thought I met you the other day. <laughs> but I didn't meet you. <laughs> what in the world is that? That's what this thing does. This thing had come in and done the whole city this way. So the leaders, the magistrates, that said they went, oh, ripped their clothes. They were the leaders of the whole community. And the people were following who? They followed the leaders. That's the same in the church as a whole today. There's many churches setting up and deceiving many people. And people are following the leaders instead of following the word. Mm -hmm. And the leaders tell them one thing, and they just run right after the leader and do exactly what that leader tells them mm -hmm. to do. I'll tell you this again. This will blow your mind. But on Tuesday nights back in the 70s, this guy named Jim Jones had a cult over there in California. And on Tuesday nights, he had what you call spanking night. <laughs> yep. This dude had these people so deceived. I'm talking about college grads. People weren't stupid. There was, people, there was professors in there. But he had them so deceived by this demonic spirit. People said, oh, they just all crazy. A thousand people? I don't think so. He had them so deceived that they would line up to actually be whooped by this man on spanking night with a wooden bowl. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I ain't letting no pastor, no preacher, no teacher touch me and whoop me. You forget that. And I'm not going to be whooping on y'all. If y'all need a whooping, I'll pray to the Lord. He'll chase him. I'll say, Lord, they're acting up in pew number four over there, man. They got all kind of polars going on. They're tripping out and hating on me. May the Lord chase them. Chase them, Lord. With mercy, of course. But I'm not going to be whooping on nobody. But I'm telling you, people are following And they're following men, deceivers. That's why Jesus said, Many shall come in my name and say, I am the Christ. And he says, don't go to them. Don't go to them. I don't care what kind of miracles you see. Don't go to them. Mm -hmm. Now turn with me real fast. We'll be back next to John chapter 10.